Hello, hello, I'm Lisa and today I'll walk you through the process of painting over Antoine's 8 string solar guitar. Very R R R R R. First of all, I protect the bridge, the neck, the volume and the tone pots. These are all the parts I'm not going to work on, obviously, and I protect them with painter's tape. I will use painter's tape again and again in the video because painter's tape is your friend. Darling, weren't you going out with the guys? Once I'm done with the tape, I start drawing on the guitar body with a pencil. By the way, before getting to work on the guitar, I made a digital drawing on Procreate. And Antoine validated it, so fear not, I know what I'm doing. That being said, the job turned out to be a bit more difficult than anticipated, as the paint of the Posca pens I had planned on using didn't stick to the guitar properly. That's why I changed my mind and I've decided for this guitar to apply a first layer of paint undercoat to paint over. Now that the first layer is dry, we can start painting. You'll notice I'm using a brush and not the pens I planned on using. Turns out they removed the undercoat so they will come to play further down the line. For now, it's brush time. Yay! <laughs> Right now may be a good time to tell you what Antoine's instructions were for this guitar. He wanted a sun, similar to the one on the Sunrise album cover that I did, but in green because he likes green guitars. That's why we're sticking to mainly a green color palette.
You will also notice that I'm using two brush thicknesses. One bigger for the interior of the zones and a thinner one for the edges to help out with the precision. Here's where we are at currently. Remember I said paint to tape is your friend? Well it is! Here I use it as both a ruler and a security backup to make sure I paint as straight and cleanly as possible. Also, keep in mind acrylic paint darkens when drying. Therefore, this may seem as white paint to you, but it will be some sort of yellow once dry. Because yellow and green go well together. The tape removal is also very satisfying as you're seeing. I like it. Make way for the Posca as I'm finally able to use what I planned for! Woohoo! I'm using a light yellow pen to draw circles following a pencil drawing I did beforehand. You'll notice the first thin lines using the pen aren't super clean. But don't worry, the only purpose is to guide me when I'll get back to them and thicken them up. As you can see, everything looks way better now. Don't you think so? Because I do.
a green pen this time, I'm drawing Nordic inspired motifs. This makes the overall painting a bit more complex and interesting. However, at this stage, it's easy to go too small and draw very intricate patterns. This may look very good to you up close, but this is a guitar we are painting over. I want everything to be seen as clearly as possible from far away. Therefore, I keep my Viking decorations pretty big. Here's how the guitar looks now. But we are not done yet. Far from it, actually, since we are heading towards the trickiest part. I use a very thin pen to draw the edges of the circle. This part is tricky because you don't want the pen to slip into the colored zone. If it happens, you'll need to paint over the black mark in the zone. And since it's very hard to mix and get the same exact color again, you'll probably have to paint the whole zone again for it to be clean. And we don't want that, no! So I grab a thin pen and thicken up the line slowly and carefully. For the straight black lines, the painter's tape is here to help again! The headstock is good to go, so we can tear the tape apart. The logo is seeing the light of day for the first time in a while. I used sticky paper rings to protect the tuners as well as the bridge. These turned out to be pretty difficult to remove and left glue residue that I had to clean. Note for the next time, find something else and no sticky paper. The bridge was tricky as well, but luckily, I'm a master when it comes to toothpicks.
take a look at the guitar before varnishing. After many coats of varnish, here's the guitar again, shinier than ever. Working on this guitar was a great experience. I'm very, very happy with the result, and so is Antoine, I think. Of course, the guitar looks way better now. Time to free this beautiful instrument from the remaining tape and let Antoine enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video, the first one in English. Feel free to let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye!